With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that the length, breadth and height of a room are 825 cm, 675 cm and 450 cm respectively. Find the longest tape. Find the longest tape which can measure the three dimensions of the room exactly. So we are required to find out the length of the longest tape which can measure the three dimensions of the room exactly. And the dimensions of the room are 825, 675 and 450 cm. So the tape which will be used to measure will have length less than these three these three lengths because it is it is going to measure these lengths so in this question what we are going to or what how are we going to find out the length of the tape is by finding out the hcf of the three numbers so hcf now we are going to find out the hcf of these three numbers so first of all let's write down 825 and find out or write it down as a product of its prime factors. So starting with, starting with, initially it will get uh, divided by 3 because 825 is not divisible by 2. So the next prime number is 3. So on dividing it by 3, we will get 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, 2, 2, 3 multiplied by 7 is 21. So we will have 275. Now is 275 divisible by 3? No, it's not. So we will move to the next prime number that is 5. So we will get 5 multiplied by 55 will give us 275. Now again this 55 is also divisible by 5. So we will get we will get 11. Now 11 is a prime number. So now we will get 11 multiplied by 1 will be 11. So I can write 825 as so 825 is equal to as a product of its factor, prime factors, it can be written as 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 11. Now let's move to the next number that is 675. So we will write 675 as this 675. Now, first of all, it will be divisible by 3. So dividing it by 3, we will get 3. 3 multiplied by 225 is equal to 675. Again, it will get divided by 3. So we will have 3 multiplied by 75 is equal to 225. Again, it will get divisible by, it will be divisible by 3. So we will get 3 multiplied by 25 is equal to 75. Now it will get divided by 5. So we will have 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 25. Now finally, 5 multiplied by 1 is equal to 5. So 675 can be written as 675 is equals to, is equals to 3 is coming 3 times and 5 is 2 times. So 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Now talking about the third number that is 450 centimeter. Now writing 450 as a to write 450 as prime factors. First of all it will get uh, uh, 450, 450 is divisible by 2. So we will get 225. Now this is not divisible by 2 so let's move to the next prime number that is 3. So on dividing it by 3 we will get 3 multiplied by 75 is equal to 225. Again it will be divisible by 3 so we will get 25. Now it will be divisible by 5 so we will get 5. This is 1 and that's it. So now we can write 450 as a product of its prime factors as 450 is equals to is equals to 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Now we will see the factors that are common in all of these. All of these three, all, all of these three, these three numbers. So what we find is that HCF, HCF of these three numbers is equals to, here 3 is common in all of the three all of the three numbers and now 5 is common in all of them so 5 multiplied by 5 is again common so there are two times where 5 is commons commons or we can say that 5 raised to the power 2 is common 
because here also we have 5 into 5 here also we have 5 into 5 in and here also we have 5 into 5 so 5 into 5 is common so we will get 25 into 5 25 25 multiplied by 3 is 75 so this is the length of the tape of the longest tape that can measure that can measure the three dimensions of the room exactly that is 75 centimeter thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today